everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch used canvas, used meaning that I had a painting underneath I didn't like. So what I did is I put um, a thinner layer of Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White on it. And I have several paints I'm using today and I'm not going to go over them uh, in the beginning here, but I will, <clears throat> excuse me, list them in my description. What I'm doing today is a puddle pour pour plus I call it. I'm going to lay puddles of paint down. I'm going to tip it and then I'm going to run some chains through it. And the response I got a long, long, almost a year ago now when I did my first puddle, puddle pour plus with the chains, um, everybody really liked it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again today. My pouring medium is two parts Floetrol, one part paint, squirt of GAC 800, and about a teaspoon of a Liquitex gloss medium. No silicone added. So what I'm going to do is lay my puddles, and I will fast forward this part because it does take quite a long time. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy it.
And this is the fun part. Get it all over the edges here. In the corners. going to turn it this way and tip a little more. Let's get it down over that edge a little better. Okay, and bring it back a little bit. All right, looks good. I'm going to check my corners here. Clean off my hands, and then we will start with the chain, the chain pull. And I do have a couple of chains that I favor. They are on the smaller side, so you can see those chains here. And I'm just going to start on the edge and pull my chain through and you can see the effect that this gives. You can clean your chain off in between. Whoops, whoops, I will be going over that part of it. Matter of fact, I think I will just tip, tip and uh, fix where I just put the paper towel there. Covering up that mistake. As you can see, I really do have a lot of paint left on this canvas. And that first chain pull I did looks really wonky, which is kind of cool. Okay, let's try that again. my chain just pull it pull it round and around and if you want to go off the canvas that's good you can come back make circles, different designs. Looks like a little, a few places I do have some cells coming up and that has to be from the flow trawl. So you can do as much or as little as you want. I tend to do quite a bit because I, I just really like this effect that it gives. If you spread your chain out too, it'll give you a, a, a neat effect like that on the edge there. And I'll try that over on this side so you can see it. Just spread my chain out a little bit and there it, and then I can bring it in.
Okay. Then I'm going to try a different size chain. I'm going to go a little bit smaller even and just see if I like that. This is the smallest chain I have. Okay, I like that effect. I think I need more up here in this corner. And I will bring it down. Just really enjoying playing with this. And when I lightly skim it, it gives that effect. And I think this will be my last, my last one. And now what I'm going to do is take the end of a, a paintbrush here. And I'm just going to make some swirlies here and there. Just to give the eyes something a little more to look at. And I hope you're enjoying this process with me. If you ever have any suggestions or any other type of painting you'd like to see me do, please leave it in the comments. I'd be more than happy to do that. One that you've watched me do in the past that you really enjoyed the process and you'd like to see that again. I'd be happy to do that. Maybe just one in here. Let's try and break it up a little bit. And I think that's pretty good. And I will give it another torch and then I'll get you down for a close up. lot of really nice areas in this painting. One thing I'm going to do is just clean off the bottom and check my sides here. Check the corners. See if, see if anything needs to be touched up just a little bit. down for a close-up. Okay everybody here we are for our close-up. This is the upper left-hand corner and we'll go down the left-hand side here. I like that pop of orange and the red is so vibrant. This is a nice area in here where I did just those little squigglies with the end of a paintbrush. I like this area in here too. And this is the lower left hand corner. And we'll take you up the middle here. 
certainly a bright painting. This is a good way to use up your leftover paints. And this effect right here is when I just skimmed over the top of the paint with the chain. Gave a little bit different effect there. Got some cells there. And this is the up, this is in the middle here at the top. We'll go over to the upper right. This is the upper right corner. And just going down the right hand side now. So let me know what you think of this video. Here's the lower right. And give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. That would be great. Um, if you ring the bell and choose all, you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. I really do appreciate you all watching. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.